using an illuminating primer for that inner glow. I am combining a lightening drop with the serum foundation because the shade 2.1Y is too dark for my skin tone. You can never go wrong with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I am using this to highlight the center of my face. And as always, I am using my ever-trusted Coty Airspun to set my foundation. super happy to be hitting pan on my butter bronzer i'm using this to bronze up the skin and my nose has always been my insecurity but nothing a nose line can't fix for blush i am using the shade hollyhock I was worried when I used this on my powdered skin, but it did blend nicely on the skin with a little bit of work. I fell in love with the Pixie Highlighter after this. It just gives a nice glow on the skin. I pulled out my MAC Soft and Gentle to highlight my nose and lips. I feel that this adds the illusion of a taller nose. Alright guys, so let me explain the eyes first before we proceed with the eyeshadow. This is the brow bone. And where this sinks in is your crease area and then lower to your crease area is your lid space so this is your lid area this is the lower lash line and this is the upper lash line okay so what I did earlier is I applied this cream shade you don't really have to use the same eyeshadow palette I'm just using the Marc Jacobs um, iconic fantasy palette um, normally you want to use a cream shade for your brow bone area so what I did is use this big fluffy brush and apply this color here so this just allows you to create or blend your eyeshadow the eyeshadow that you'll be putting here to your brow bone so you can also apply this all over the lids so apply this here and then extend it to our crease and close to our brow bone. So what I'm doing, you know this brush, so it's a little bit tapered like that, okay? So I'm applying the eyeshadow on the flat portion and then blending it using that tapered end of the brush. And because we laid that cream shade right there, it's creating a nicer gradient effect. You can actually get away with just this color and then apply the same thing. I'm just gonna be using the smaller brush. This is a pencil brush, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is a pencil brush. So I'm just using this. Okay, the trick with applying eyeshadow on your lower lash line is you wanna look up. So you wanna position your mirror up. That way you can cover your lower lash line very easily because as you can see if i look straight to the mirror then that fold near the eye is hiding if i look up 
it's easier for me to apply that eyeshadow there. So we'll extend this and connect it to the eyeshadow on the upper lash line. Then we'll grab on to a shimmery shadow, which is this one. Now I'll be using the same brush. Make sure to top off the excess, especially if you have already laid your foundation. You don't want any fallouts on your um, skin because this is a shimmer shadow. If I flake this away, the shimmer will just spread and destroy that foundation that we already laid on your face. Now one more thing, you may want to spray your brush. This way you intensify that shimmer on your lids. So we are now applying this just on the lid space. Very beautiful. Okay, now I'm going back to the pencil brush and I am getting this shimmer shade and spraying this with some mist. and there you have it guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you know the drill subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified whenever i upload new videos and don't forget to follow me in my social media and instagram and facebook page all the links will be listed in the description box today's shout out goes to my dear friend jennifer i hope you have reached the end of this video shout out to you jennifer and i hope to see you soon anyway i hope i'll see you again on my next one Adios.